tell your story about the time someone tried to make you do coke in the bathroom at the Ritz. Oh, girl. So there was, a, there was another drag which has since moved away. And um, this is when I was first getting into the scene. And I was like, you know, I wanted everyone to think I was cool. And I was like, I was like this dope person, blah, 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 blah. So it's me. I'm peeing in this bathroom on, on, on the second floor of this club. And then um, as I'm, I finish peeing and I'm, as I'm opening the door to go out, this drag queen and her two other friends, they're like they're like push me in because they're trying to get in. I had the door locked. So then, so now they they it's all four of us in this bathroom. And then they lock the door, and they're like, "Girl, are you are you down?" I was like, "Down for what?" They pull out a bag of coke and a key, and they're all going around the circle doing doing a bump. And I'm like, "Here we are. I guess this is." I uh, hear, here I am. So they give me the key with the cocaine on it. I bring it to my nose, and instead of blowing, like pulling in, I like blow out, and the cocaine goes everywhere. And they're like, "Girl, what are you doing?" I was like, "I don't know. I'm just so fucked up." Uh, uh, <laughs> trying to be down. <laughs> well, that, that is an after school story if I ever heard one. That you grabbed. I mean, and I wanted to did your homework. I wanted them to think I was cool, girl. That is so. What, what, okay, you can't tell those queens' names, but what do their names rhyme with? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I, I think her name was like, like mitten with a tip or something like that. I don't know. Shut up, bitch. You only ever done weed? I, I'm saying I, I was literally going on the thing. Oh. So I smoked, I smoked cigarettes before. I've done weed, obviously. I currently do weed. Um, I've never done cocaine. I've never. I've, the only other thing I've done is K's. When I was in South Korea, a queen offered me K. Well, people were doing K, and I was like, well, I want to try. I was okay, like, was she on season before eight or after it? Oh my god! Just answer that one question. I won't ask you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> please, no, please, before no. eight or after it. No, because that's they, obvious. Please, I'm begging before eight or after. Eight. No, I'm not saying there it. are there are like a hundred queens on either side. Yeah, but I was said I was in South Korea, so you do the math. Who's in South Korea with bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you are so fucking messy. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and it was also to be fair, it wasn't a queen who was on. It was a queen who was lives. Anyway. Whatever. So then, so then I heard people doing K, and I was like, "Oh, I want to try." And then I was like, "Well, I just want like a little bit. I don't want like the full thing." So then they, so they took a key, and it was obviously it was maybe like this much K on the key. So I was like, <sighs> I took it on my nose, and nothing happened. How did you feel? Nothing. I felt nothing. I was mad. I was like, I wasted my time. Well, like, girl, you took that. Little, was like, well, why did you make me? Take that little bit if it wasn't gonna work. What do you mean you fucking cram a handful up your fucking nose? <laughs> but I wanted a full experience. I you know, the queens are afraid to do drugs around me. Why? Like I think that because they know that I'm sober, they don't feel comfortable doing drugs around me. So they'll they'll be like, um, I've had queens on tour come up to me and apologize for doing drugs. They're like, I'm sorry you had to see me doing drugs. I'm so sorry. They never do that for me. Bitches do it's, because it's, they know you're down. I'm not down, and they know I'm not down. <laughs> Like everyone knows that I am not down to do drugs. I will not be joining your. I don't. I do not get invited to any hotel parties. <laughs> I don't get invited to hotel parties. I, I. I don't get invited to. I never get invited to after hours. Oh, can we talk about that mega mix y'all did that didn't make no good goddamn sense? Girl, I don't know why they made us do that shit. I was not into it, but y'all was know. not. Y'all had not rehearsed. It didn't like y'all didn't give a good goddamn. But also, they have us doing this in these full gowns that, you know, that they all cost, like, I mean, there were some gowns on that stage from season 10 girls that cost $7,000. No one is going to be up there trying to fuck up Name shit. names. Name names. No, I don't know. That's not my business to say who's the guy with $7,000. I'll bleep it. Say it. I'll bleep it. From who? That, oh, that, who made that, that guy that, uh, what's his name? Ridiculous. I don't know. I'll, I'll bleep it out, and the fans will be like, who was it? But I will put a little down there no I'm got her gown made by for seven thousand dollars i mean okay my my coronation gown cost five thousand dollars i mean it was beautiful though i mean i'm not saying names but there are queens who will take their fan art don't and say that I, did, I said i'm not saying We're their name the, the, i'm saying it's true <laughs> there are queens who will take their fan art from the meet green you know you have seen it walk backstage and before the show starts will drop it in the trash money does not have to verify it i have seen it with my own eyes and also but there are some girls who get so much of this fan gifts what are they going to do with it how are they going to get that stuff home how how <laughs> 
I think it's very shady. A lot of people have been wanting to have their music videos done by these very popular people who do music videos, but they don't want to pay their directors what they consider a fair rate, which is right. actually equal to or less than what some of these girls get paid to do Other one gig. gig. Yeah. And then the director has to work on your video for a month solid. Like a solid month of work. Mm -hmm. They have to produce it this, that, the other, edit it. When you when you go and skip around and do your gigs, they're back there uh, editing, calling up the editor, doing all this shit, and they're like, I'm not paying them that much money. Like, girl, you need to pay these people to work for you. Yeah. That shit drives me crazy. And people try to not pay Those this. girls say their names. Say, uh, that's, that's too shady. No, so, say it! Some of them are your friends, Mary. Okay, well, let, let them know! But I'm not, I'm not, because the only reason why. Bob is, Bob is pussy as hell. He oh, want to say that it's motherfucker. On the, it's on the chair. The button's on the chair. Oh, I was it's like, like on the arm. The reason why Eureka, I you <laughs> the reason why I think <laughs> you found it. The reason why I think it's shady to say the name is because it's it's not it's not my drama. It's, it's their drama and the, this director. I have, there's a whole thing too with like a lot of drag race girls who don't want to pay designers and directors and photographers what they're worth. Like it's a whole thing. Like like someone like I remember talking to one girl. And they were like, "I'm not paying nobody to I know uh four thousand dollars to direct my music video," and I was like, "Do you know how much work goes into directing your music video? Mm -hmm. They have to. Uh, there's a month of work before the video, and there's a month of work after the video. You would pay someone yeah. less than four thousand dollars to do two entire months of work on your music video. That's crazy. Uh, Bestiality." No, but I'm not judging you. <laughs> I mean, that's illegal, but you know, is it? Animals can't consent, Monet. Animals can't consent. B cell is illegal. Yes. I don't know it's illegal. I really do not know it's illegal. Okay, where I don't know how to do it in uh, in uh, uh, Bensonhurst uh, or wherever you're from. In <laughs> well, there's a famous uh, there's a drag race girl who sends. I'm not gonna say who it is. She loves to send Im videos and images of people doing shit with animals in like a funny way. Who is it? Well, we can beep her name out. And can I show you a video? I want to show you one of the videos. She just sends it little. She never sent these to you? No. Never, not once. Girl. That is upset. Like, do, like with humans? Yes. Why? Why? This is wild. <laughs> Look at this. ha. <laughs> <laughs> that is animal she, abuse. She sent one of a man fucking a snake, like in like his like in like the, the snake's like thing. Yeah, girl, leave her vagina. name out. What? Do not. I won't say who because I think it's shady to say who. But someone we know um, is so afraid of blood and the mentioning of blood that he will just faint Final, if you yeah. say Because I feel like if I say it, then they will. There's also a drag race girl, I won't say who, who is afraid of like like loud noises. Like not just like a little bit. Do like, I know her? Yes, you do it. She's, she's yeah. But she's Thanks so, she, I, right. I, because they'll well, start. You were a real pussy no, today. No, that's not because the fans will start her. I'm not into exploiting people's I am. fears. I'm kidding. So I don't want to tell, but people will start doing, I know how fans are. And I don't want to say who is afraid of, um, but like if you say blood, if you mention blood, I know drawing who drawing blood. But I didn't have this experience with the He'll person. just fall over and just be and just can't even come like work. That's I know. that's crazy. I mean that's I mean, it's a chemical. I mean it's 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 obviously I'm just saying I couldn't imagine living that way. For the latest episode, you and I allude to a queen who does um say well, things. Well, we said the N-word. Uh-huh, and then all the, literally, all in my DMs, everyone was like, it was Sharon, wasn't it? Oh, it was Sharon, it was Sharon, it was Sharon, it was Sharon, it was Sharon. It was Sharon. Literally, well, the fans I don't think it's a you. secret that Sharon says the N-word a lot. She, she writes it on right. paper, she says it to people, she has texted it to me before. Um, I don't think um, There are a few queens that say the N-word, especially some in New York City, um, which they don't listen to this podcast, but... Um, yeah, we, we all, the, the black queens often talk about y'all saying the N-word, and it's, so, don't get cute, or we will release your names to the rivalries, the revelries, and they're gonna I get that ass. Siblings. <laughs> yeah, that's I think we've, we've designated a name and everything for them already. <laughs> Not the rivalries, <laughs> the, the rivers. Listen, I know, I know a few of our sisters that have gotten their dick sucked on dance floors. 
Like, me, like at least I can count ten girls that have told me that experience. Say, no, I'm not saying their names. That's no names. You're so Comment, take them below. Say their names. <laughs> <laughs> if we're on stereo, if, if we're on stereo, I'll say it. <laughs> so Kim just started playing music that she knows she'll hate uh -huh. really fucking loud. Uh huh. It was wild. Yeah. The speaker um, battle, it was crazy. And so speaking of audiobook people, um, I love And there was one girl who... On that... Do you want to share it with the class? There was a girl on that tour who smelled so bad. No one wanted to be in the same oh, room. Oh, we know. Who, I mean, I, everyone probably knows who just by that. Anyway, and so it was It was choosing between the girl who... What, is, like, what is her name right now? No, Moneka. Moneka. <laughs> Moneka. <laughs> That was brilliant. I did not mean it. <laughs> you are correct. Right. But it was torn between the girl who plays the music too loud and the girl that smells bad. the freshest, yeah, yeah. So we were like, who do we, who do we go? You are so messy. I'm, I'm so, so messy. messy. I'm so mad at you. Oh my God. I'm so mad at you. I'm so mad at you. So your mom texted me yesterday. She said, sorry for, <laughs> sorry for the misunderstanding. Chris told me that she still talked to that boy. She said the name. I love you, but I just want to let you know that's shady. But I know if you had to pick um, um, tongue out emoji, eye roll emoji, kiss face emoji, heart emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth the call with Thomas. Like, and I said, and I said, oh, no worries, Ma. I totally understand and I love you. So, y'all, so you still friends with that boy? <laughs> are you friends with that boy? Are you friends? Uh, you answer no, me. no. I ask you first. Are you friends with that boy? Uh, yes, I am. Are you friends with that boy? Are you friends with that boy? Mm. Are you friends with that boy? I, I'm, 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 I am um, social with that boy sometimes. So sometimes you're social. I mean, I lived in LA for a year and a half, and I've seen that boy. Uh, twice, once at your house against my will. Didn't know he was going to be there. That's not true. I was like, that is not true. That is not. You know, that's not true. Because I, I would never do that. But it, it was, you know, me and Jacob Sherman, we were like, not a double date in Monet. Um, and then, uh, but also when me and that boy were not talking, Monet fully hired him to work her booth at DragCon, which I did not tell my mom. Well, I was a new. I was a. I, I was. I was just in Drag Race. I had no. This was also the year that Neverland scammed the fuck out of everybody, and I had okay. literally nothing. Do you remember that? I don't want to say their name to their name T. Um, but say that, okay. their names. Uh. <gasps> no, because you don't be saying no names these days. You yours. Like, okay, Monet, you say their T, and I'll say. You say their tea and I'll say their names. Go ahead, spill their no, tea. No, no, Bob. I'm not. I'm not saying it then because then you. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. No, because you do the weird thing. You were like, um, "Is this shirt couture?" Monet, don't be a <laughs> pussy. You do shit like that. <laughs> All right, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I promise, I won't do it. I promise. Um, well, I'm gonna say the name, but bleep it out. Um, well, girl. Well, well, we got. We got to talk about uh, because Jay, Jay, the bleeps ain't been bleeping. <laughs> No, 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 that's not true. We left it in for Patreon, for the Patreons, but the general public didn't get it. That's what it was. They were dating that, their 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 crazy boyfriend, remember? And he used to come to a lot of- Oh my God, uh, okay, you threw out crazy. You threw out crazy. I didn't know I mean, like that. I mean, that's what people used to say. I mean, I don't, I, I didn't know them like that either, but that's what people used to say. I was like, oh, I didn't know about this. Anyway, but- He was a, he was like, a, little, he was a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie, he was a little annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but he they were together for a long time and his boyfriend fully had like a child that was just almost the same age as um the queen and they were like together for like a long time like imagine having a stepkid like the same age as you that's so wild to me you and i both know that like saying no one gets messy is not a true statement the girls get messy not always but there I, are I, was, the girls get I was messy. talking specifically at work the world I mean, actually, Asia, Australia, I, there's that one bitch that was messy and she was live singing um, and she was gagged that she was like, I don't understand why the music isn't always the same. And we're like, bitch, it's, it, it, it's a fucking instrumental track. It's the same every night. You're not the same. But that's You're what I'm saying. Like, I mean, so I've done, I've done a lot of the tours and like typically speaking, most of the time the girls are on, but I have seen girls get so wished they come off stage, attack PAs, 
physically assault PAs, lock their lock their uh their their co-star out of the dressing room, and then like do the, like I've seen this happen. Like I have Sit literally seen this happen. So who? So that's why that's that. Listen, anyway, that's why I'm saying. Um, y'all, can have y'all noticed over the past couple months, Bob gets is has become such a pussy. But I'm sorry, I don't mean to use pussy. As, wow, as a I apologize. Um, y'all notice that Bob has become increasingly less say their names, the queen of say their names. Anytime it's him, he don't want to say. But when it's me, like Monet, say their names, say their names. Bitch, who the fuck got messy, locked you out the dressing room, and 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 and, and assaulted a PA? Who was it? It was Monet Exchange, y'all, and I didn't want to say anything, but it was. It was, it was <laughs> oh Monet my Exchange. god! I was trying to protect your image, but you told me you want me to say it. So since you want me to say it, it was Monet Exchange. 